Hello and good evening and welcome back to Dulong News. For tonight's occasion, we would like to talk about polemics on the development of oil palm plantations in Kalimantan. First of all, I would like to thanks to Mr. Augia as representative of the developer team of oil palm plantations in Kalimantan. And also I would like to give thanks to Mrs. Rini, who already represented the environmentalist teams in Indonesia. Uh, for tonight's occasion, I would like to separate the discussion into a few terms. For the first term, I would like to invite Mr. Augia to present their argumentation and ideas about the tonight's topics. For Mr. Augia, the time is yours. Okay, thanks to Mr. Akil and Dugong News for helping me this discussion program. I'm very glad and honored to be part of this talk show. First of all, we need to know that palm oil plantation has given us a lot of economical contribution on our country's income. And so Lomi, on behalf of the development team of Kalimantan Oil Plantation, to take you on a short trip to the things that we have done so far. For example, in Kalimantan, in East Kalimantan, palm oil plantation has managed to employ more than 277,000 families this plantation also gave us an adequate amount for foreign income as much as 300 trillion rupiah. This is the moment we have waiting for. The big opportunities has come for us to take. That's all, Mr. Akil. Well, 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 what a strong argumentation indeed. So now let's hear about the environmentalist team uh, arguments on tonight's topic for Ms. Rini, the time is yours. Okay, thank you to Mr. Akel and Dugung News for having made this uh, discussion program. I'm very glad and honored to be part of this talk show, of course. As an Indonesian, I fully support government activities that can benefit Indonesian or increase state revenue. For example, the oil palm uh, plantation business which is said in addition to increasing state income, also create employment opportunities. However, as an environmentalist, I strongly reject government action or activities that can damage nature, let's say again, with uh, the explo exploitation of land on a large scale for the, for the opening of oil palm, oil palm plantation. Why do I say exploitation? Because the area of land that should be planted with the palm trees take over the position of forest sustainably. Also, in the process of clearing the land itself, it's not directly planted with the palm trees, like in case in Papua, which only causes uh, land vacancies, which causes disaster natural. Well, because that makes me, as an environmentalist, reject to the, to the palm oil business, and we hope that there be, uh, will be effort to overcome this program. problem. Thank you. Thank you, Ms. Rin. And now let's hear about the developers' responses to the environmentalist argument. For Mr. Agia, I would like to respond. Thank you. The time is yours. Okay, thanks, Mr. Akhil. Ms. Rini, I feel that is, this particular issue was referred to more as a specific entity. Ms. Rini, the government has been making strict regulation in order to avoid these bad things. Okay, let's be realistic here. If you refuse to let the forest to be open of palm oil plantation, what plans or solution does Ms. Rini have to improve the living condition of the people around? I mean, how do you solve economic and social problem in East Kalimantan? Using God's gift to human resource, I don't think it's such a bad thing. I think you just think about only to the orangutan and trees. Don't you think how to cope with economic inequalities? Okay, okay. I think you misunderstood my first statement. I have said the start uh, that I fully support government activities that can benefit Indonesia, but I really can I really don't agree if uh, what they are doing is too excessive or can be said to be exploited on a large scale. To be honest, the prefer to be honest, the preferred fashion of our nature can also be more 
profitable for human than the orangutan I fight for their habitat. Because of a natural disaster occurs, who will be responsible? Of course, the government is only highlighting the current weather or climate as the causes. Wait, wait, Ms. Rini, what are you talking about? I think it's for food estate program. You know food estate program? And maybe yeah, the people are talking not, about the government. It's not our program, Ms. Rini. It's not, that's not our program. Not to Ms. know Ms. what's going on and just throwing responsibility as is now. I think enough. Thank you, Ms. Rakil. Okay, then, ladies and gentlemen, to ensure this debate will sum up on a conclusion, let's compare all of the opinions from every party face to face. First of all, we can conclude that um, developers' party would wanted to take the opportunities from the niche businesses engagement of palm oil. On the other hand, those businesses are already leaving a lot of scars on our land sustainability. Those things are bad, and an environmentalist party would wouldn't be happy for this. To conclude this debate, a statement should be released. We're still able to look forward for another kind of engaging business opportunities that will always bring progressively changing all the time. Palm oil does make our men produce more bugs, but too much focusing on that particular sector would creating a new hole for everybody, even for the developer team they themselves. So another plan are always there to pick because keeping our environment in sustainability is a must for our better future. For the next segment, we will present economic and environmental observers from the University of Lampo. So stay tuned with us and we'll be right back. Thank you. <laughs> 